Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be talking you through the recent rise in Bitcoin price and then the crash that we are currently seeing right now, you know, a very swift move to the downside and I'm going to be talking you through my opinions of where this is likely to bounce and how we can get into some nice long trades. Uh, so I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, let's begin. Although you can probably notice I'm speaking a little bit quieter than normal, just because I still do have a sore throat. But nevertheless, we can still do some trading. Um, so yeah, I want to talk you through this recent rise. And uh, this is, you know, as I, as you all know, I, I love to educate. I love to like give people an advantage when they're trading. And this right here is just absolutely perfection in when we when it comes to technical analysis it's so nice technical analysis indeed so i'm gonna you're gonna learn something today you really should learn something from this video i'm gonna talk you through starting off with the gartley if you know how to trade gartley's then i gave this one freely on twitter as well so you, you could have longed to the low of the day <laughs> um but yeah, obviously, naturally i go into more depth in my group and fully explain what i'm all about and uh you know as i was saying we had the bullish Gartley coming up. Okay, bullish Gartley. Obviously, we're looking for the long at the low of point D. Okay, but it's bullish because you long at the low of point D. And then I was saying how if we check claim the POC, which stands for point of control, then we should push to 7,000. As you'll know, we reached last night 6,985. So within within $15 of 7K. Lovely day indeed. Um, and if you don't know how to like trade Gartley's and stuff, then obviously we have like cheat sheets for all of this sort of stuff uh, over on the website. But yeah, this was a really, really nice day indeed. And it all started with this lovely Gartley pattern. So obviously we're waiting for the drop down here. I think I even said something. Yeah, just waiting for the Gartley. Okay, so it's just, it's just, this is the sort of thing in trading. You have to have the patience. Okay, because at this point, if you didn't see the pattern for example you might be longing here at 6700 with your stop loss below the lows thinking well, if it comes down here i want to get out of my position because it's going to go down much lower but then the sensible trader is actually waiting for this to come lower to buy <laughs> so that like is i suppose a separation of like a newer and a more, more advanced trader i suppose i like, will be patient waiting for the drop to go into our longs whereas people longing here are going to be getting stopped out as we're longing i suppose but yeah all started from this Gartley, and then I just want to talk you through this because it's, it's it's so nice. Okay, so obviously you have the the Gartley. Okay, so the bullish Gartley, you're looking for longs. From the bullish Gartley, you did get a lovely bounce. Where did you bounce? To the top of the channel. These channels have been working so perfectly. Okay, so 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 nice. From the top of the channel, you come back down to the uh, middle of the channel, which is also your 618 confluence. You get the bounce out of the channel, back test the channel, which is also a 618 again. And you get another rise to the upside on this rise here you had bearish divergences and also volume bearish divergences so you had a mixture of reasons why this was likely to get a pullback before up again and you did get that pullback indeed you pull back here to again the 618 okay so you're coming back down to the 618 once again uh which is also the back test of this channel okay so resistance 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 support okay so you're seeing a mixture of confluence of support here and look where you bounce to you bounce to the exact exact middle of this channel okay from the exact middle of that channel you come down you swing further the lows and you get another push to the upside as you can see here slight slight pause as you come to the middle of the channel again but you basically resistance support and you push have a guess where to the top of the channel we're talking within five dollars of the top of the channel so so nice indeed what was the confluence why this was bearish uh, it was the fact that we swing forward this high okay the high being 6950 you did swing forward the high as well as more locally being on the top of the channel okay so that was the reasons of why this was sort of bearish and then when you have the knowledge i suppose of looking at other markets seeing how they're reacting i mean it's pretty really really correlated so for an example the uk market was open as you can see at the basically the exact same time we were seeing the uk market push up as bitcoin is pushing up and then the uk market slightly for you know basically you know as you can see pretty much crashing pretty hard uh as the uh uk uh, as the bitcoin was okay so when you uh, can recognize these correlations it does make trading easier uh so yeah that was obviously really nice and it has brought us down to these to these uh lows as you can see here uh actually on the lower term time frame we have this is the one minute chart come up and back tested this channel somewhat and seen a mini rejection um I actually don't, uh, I'm, I'm not actually so bearish. I'm, I, obviously, this is off of a very really big, big drop, but I'm actually expecting somewhat of a bounce here, if I'm honest with you all. Okay, not not necessarily a bounce that's just going to go, you know, straight up here, but I am expecting a, a relief bounce. Okay, so I'm expecting a, a bounce here. So uh, I'm actually in a scope long position. 
okay i know exactly where my invalidation is i know exactly where i'm going to take it so for me the risk is really defined but you know probably you know it's likely that by the time you watch this video i could like already be out of the position because you know sculpt positions you generally are not holding very long okay 15 minutes maybe an hour sometimes okay but uh you know i'm expecting a little little bit of a bounce here and then it, it all comes down to like the confirmation okay so does this bounce actually start getting a volume injection or is it is it you know more shorts closing out taking some profits and, and we're rising on you know decreases on open interest for example there's a lot of statistics like that you can use to judge whether a move is healthy or not healthy whether it's likely to continue whether it's likely to get follow through or not okay so this is where trading is it's so so it's, it's massively bigger than what many people think when many people think it's random and gambling i mean it's it's clearly not but um you know that's what i'll be waiting for next okay so getting some statistics off the vault um and yeah that kind of like brings you then to you know right where we are right now it's it's we have just seen a really quick drop in price so nearly seven seven percent so if you were caught offside here if you were longing the top okay longing into resistance longing into a swing failure pattern then you you can get wrecked really quickly in trading just as you can make a lot of money really quickly in trading so crypto is like a beast okay and so is the stock market okay so you look come across to some of the stocks and you saw like crazy crazy big moves so one of the biggest here square okay so square obviously really really big 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 stock just like bouncing up 15 percent. you're seeing like mcdonald's up 18 percent. you're seeing shopify up 14 percent. you know some of these it's not just crypto at the moment that's all i wanted to highlight it's not just crypto that's that's getting these big moves it's uh you know everything right now it's extremely volatile and this is all down to the emotions that are in the market right now throughout all the markets really big emotions with the coronavirus so yeah my viewpoint is I'm expecting a little bit of a bounce here on Bitcoin, okay? Um, but ultimately, is is it likely to hold here? I guess we have to take it a step at a time, see if it reclaims some resistances. So I would say at the moment you have this 6,700 really big resistance right now. Okay, it might not get that high on this bounce, okay? I'm not necessarily expecting $150 bounce, but um, 5,700, 5,750 is, is a pretty big resistance. And then obviously, naturally, you could be looking down to these lows, 6,400 and then 6,200 pretty much for some support regions. So this is nice. We are getting a little bit of a bounce here. So uh, I'll be making some money while I'm doing this TA video. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm expecting. That's how I have been trading Bitcoin. That's how I am trading it right now. I would say I'm really neutral. OK, so I'm not necessarily uh, uh, really, really bullish right now. I'm, I'm definitely not really bullish and I'm definitely not really bearish. I'm, I'm very much neutral. I think 6400 is a pretty key support level, if I'm honest with you, macro point of control. Um, so that would be really interesting if we do come down to that level whether we bounce or, or lose the level okay so you got some it's 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 kind of like in trading you don't want to get like euphoric and just overly emotional you know you really need to stay very calm and collected when trading these moves because if you are trading in the moment really um you know just jumping in and out of positions not knowing what you're doing you, you're, you're gonna lose money you're gonna lose a lot of money because the moves are so big but obviously when you when you are calm when you are kind of like patient waiting for these sort of moves you can <laughs> that was literally the long the low of the day so it's you, know, you can make some really really big money when you know what you're doing um which is really really nice i suppose so you know it's 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 a good trading environment um basically and i suppose i'll end with the a uh, little bit of a shout out for the uh, chart champions that if you are interested in sort of learning this if you want to see all the cheat sheets all the videos we have so much content literally so much content on the websites uh, you know you can really learn so much from this then obviously that's all on chartchampions.com and tonight i also do have a live stream uh so if you're interested in the live stream tonight I'm, I'm starting a volume series okay so it's going to be a series as i've done series in the past and they're all you know still on the website so you can watch through all the old videos but this series that I'm starting now is is on volume, okay, which is so so important when you're looking for your confirmations. Uh, so yeah, I'm doing a volume series. So if you're interested in learning about volume, and I, I I honestly think that if you're a trader, then you really should be interested in learning about it. And this is not really information that you can get online. If you try and self teach yourself this, and it's it's going to take you months and months. So. I'm going to save you a lot of time. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's what I'm teaching tonight if you're interested in learning about that. So, yeah, got a live stream tonight. So if you're interested in that, you can obviously come across to chartchampions.com and, and uh, sign up for some mentorship. And on top of learning and, uh, you know, who doesn't like to learn, I suppose. So on top of learning, you can also get into my little... Um, if you join the champions group, then you can see all this sort of like bonus information and obviously that... <laughs> one would imagine pays for, for pays for your fees because i uh, i mean how could it kind of not that's a very very good trade indeed a very high percentage gain 
okay and we'll see how this that bounce goes so i'm yeah, pretty happy with this currently. It's, it's uh, coming along pretty nicely. And this is also the thing that many people are going to be so scared to long after this massive drop to the downside, which is natural, I suppose. Not everybody is is uh, is, is so up for it. But, um, you know, it's just these little sculpts, so they really, really do add up. And I guess while I'm mentioning it, I'll talk about the uh, challenge count that I'm obviously doing. Oh, uh, yeah, so this was this was just, you know, I'd like to show these sort of things so you can actually see the positions that I took. But, um, and that was obviously a long fill and uh yeah but obviously on the challenge account okay so not my main account but challenge account this is uh on 22 uh trades and there's only been one loss that's a 95 percent win rate and that just goes to show that right now the moves are so technical the moves are really 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 technical which is obviously lovely to see and uh yeah that's pretty uh insane statistics right there with it and it's not just the high win rate but it's the, the fact that this account has now grown by 160 percent 160 percent in a week that's you know insane performance i i would say um so yeah anyway i'm going to wrap up the video here i hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this technical analysis hopefully you've learned something of how you know you can look to trade these charts what i'm looking for and uh, you can keep your eye on some really important supports i'd say keep your eye on 6400 and 6700 to be honest they're very important support and resistances um and then you can you know you know have to be waiting for the reactions off those levels to judge whether it's going to hold or not but those are the two intermediate levels uh, which you're going to look for claims or losses of um so yeah hope that you have thoroughly enjoyed this one and i'll catch you in the next uh, public update that i do cheers everybody thank you and goodbye bye